And now it's time for the Sturdivant's Tech Tip. When it comes to final waxing, keep it simple. We make more waxes than I can even shake a stick at. But basically there's two categories. There's what we call a CH wax, which is a hydrocarbon wax. Uh, those are the cheaper waxes out there. The way these work is we're gonna melt them onto the ski. Some people will also kinda, kinda crayon. Key thing with ironing is you never wanna touch this to a bare base. You always want wax in between the iron and the base itself. So we'll put on a generous amount. And the way these waxes work, so you heat them up till they get molten and uh, let them kind of soak in the ski base. That is how they work. It's very simple. Just have some patience. I would say if you can iron a shirt, you can, uh, you can certainly wax a ski. Another key thing is make sure you buy a good wax iron. Please, please, please. And that's not as much a sales pitch as it is a, uh, just a sensible thing to do. These irons are made for waxing. So they'll say, in fact, right on there, they'll say CH7, CH8, they'll give the temperature. Benefit of that is you don't have to guess if this wax is silk or permanent pressed. So what I try to do is iron long enough to where I can step back for about 10 seconds. Guess I should show you. And then have that wax be molten, so nice and hot. Just kind of soaking in there, it's a good thing. Uh, but then we're gonna let it cool. 20 minutes, over nice better. At this point, we're gonna take our scraper. So here we're just gonna go very smooth. When I hold the scraper, thumbs here, nice even pressure. The scraper should be sharp enough where you don't have to push down too hard. That's the real uh, thing that you're looking for. So it sounds kind of weird, right? We just waxed the ski and now we're scraping it off. What's up with that? Uh, again, it's a blend of base material and wax that you're sliding on. And that's really what you're trying to, uh, to achieve right here. If you've got too much wax on there, it's gonna pick up dirt. It's gonna slow you down. So after I scrape, I'm gonna come through and once again, I'm gonna brush with something soft. We call this horse hair. Nylon works, um, just something to smooth it out. We talked about structure. What this does after waxing is it helps open up those channels as well. 